Uh, words have been like very impactful on my life, but the meanest girl that has like been with me this whole time has actually been myself. And and I think I realized that like a lot more of us do that than maybe we'd admit like, you know, you, you mess up or you do something wrong or you're just like really hard on yourself and it's like that little voice inside your head like, I can't believe you did that, like you idiot or you're not enough, like, you know, like just constant like you're a failure and the bible talks about like all the time like words are powerful and there's death and life and the power of the tongue what i don't think about a lot of times is the words that i speak over myself um and i know that like a lot of us do that and especially the girls that are on social media and and the stuff that they're reading and the stuff that they're seeing and then the words that they speak over themselves i like can't believe some of the stuff that high school girls are saying and it's been like eight-year-old girls that have said i've i've been bullied or i'm realizing the power of words and then 63 year old women and they're like, I'm still struggling with this. And you think that it gets better as you grow up, but it doesn't. And, and so, and it's, it's not just girls, it's guys too. It's like all of us. So this is really a prayer for myself, but my hope is for anyone that hears it, that those words, um, that's not what defines them. They're not defined by you're not enough, you're a failure. Um, they're defined by you're fearfully and wonderfully made and I have a plan for your life. And, and the Bible is filled with like all the words about how much Jesus loves us. That's what it is. It's a love story. And that's like, those are the best words ever.